on march 14th the moon will dawn a shade of red seemingly out of a fairy tale or a horror movie as your imagination may be it is the first lunar eclipse of 2025 which also happens to be as many might call it the blood moon hi my name is somya pele and you're watching pure science now to start off a blood moon is nothing but a total lunar eclipse it is one of the three types of lunar eclipses that is visible from the earth during an eclipse a celestial body like the earth or the moon passes between the sun and another celestial body and casts a shadow on that object in a lunar eclipse earth passes between the sun and the moon and the earth's shadow is cast on the moon I'm taking a small detour to take a deeper dive into how shadows work. This will help us better understand how lunar eclipses and more specifically how total lunar eclipses work. There are two different parts of a shadow. A penumbra, which is the partially shaded outer region of the shadow, and the umbra, the fully shaded inner region of a shadow. Since the penumbra is the lighter area, it causes your shadow to appear slightly fuzzy this can be typically seen on a sunny day when your shadow appears lighter and less defined the umbra on the other hand is the darker area of your shadow following the same concept when the moon passes completely into the earth's umbra it places itself in the earth's shadow and appears with a reddish tint Now you might ask why the shadow is red at all and a one word answer to this would be because of our atmosphere during a total eclipse the only sunlight reaching the moon passes through the earth's atmosphere when the earth's rays passes through the atmosphere they bend around the earth and appear red if there are more clouds or dust in the atmosphere the appearance will seem more red According to the US space agency NASA blue light has a shorter wavelength and is scattered more easily by particles in earth's atmosphere than red light which has a longer wavelength red light on the other hand travels more directly through the atmosphere this is also the reason why sunrises and sunsets look reddish when the sun is overhead we see blue light throughout the sky but when the sun is setting light has to pass through more atmosphere and travel farther before reaching our eyes the blue light from the sun scatters away and longer wavelength red orange and yellow light passes through it similarly as i explained earlier all the sunlight reaching the moon during the lunar eclipse is passing through the earth's atmosphere and thus appears red Unlike a total solar eclipse which tends to last only a few minutes and can only be seen from specific locations a total lunar eclipse is visible from anywhere on the night side of the earth this eclipse will be visible for nearly 65 minutes this is because the moon will be farther from the earth than average so it will take longer for the moon to travel through its umbra There are a lot of cultural references and stories that are also attached to the blood moon. Among the ancient Inca people, the moon appears red on the eclipse day because of a jaguar attacking and eating the moon. They believe that on such nights the jaguar might turn to earth after moon, so their people traditionally would shout and throw spears and get dogs to howl to scare the jaguar away. In ancient Mesopotamia people believed the blood moon to be a planned attack on the king since the people at the time were well versed at predicting eclipses on the night of the eclipse they would seat a proxy king during the period in India people interpret the lunar eclipse to be the result of the demon rahu drinking the potion of immortality The story says that the sun and the moon decapitated Rahu but because of the elixir its head remained immortal and as revenge he went on to chase the sun and the moon on the days he succeeds 
he swallows the moon which appears red out of rahu's severed head but mythical stories aside this year's total eclipse will be visible between 9:27 a.m. and 12:28 p.m. indian standard time but since it will be daytime in india astronomy enthusiasts will have to make do with live streaming to get a view of the celestial event the best views are expected in north and south america which will get a full 65 minute view of the blood moon for indians however on september 7th and 8th this year a full lunar eclipse will be visible across india and the event will be well worth the wait this is all from me if you want any subject or event explained on pure science you can leave your suggestions on the comments below or write to me at somya.pillai@theprint.in thank you for tuning in